The Kalaba High track and field team is still reeling from the shooting death of their jumps coach, Nicholas Newville, on Monday. But head coach Michael Clark says that the many-time Issa Boy Shams winners will be using Newville's death as motivation to win yet another title. Jordan Fort reports. News of the death of Calabar High School jumps coach Nicholas Newville rocked the track and field fraternity on Monday. And Calabar's athletes were still reeling from the tragic news when TVJ Sports visited the Red Hills Road School and observed them being consoled by their coaches and support staff later that day. But longtime head coach Michael Clark has vowed that the team will be using the tragedy as fuel to win this year's Issa Boys Championships. Well, the intention, as you, as you, as you implied just now, is to use uh, this, this negative energy and use it to and turn it into a positive energy by um, getting them to see it as a, as, as, as a source of a, lo a loss, yes. But at the same time, something that they should f um, fight to defend in terms of the, the points to begin at the, at the various championships. Andrea Hardware, who has acted as team manager for Calabar's program for a number of years, and is president and CEO of the newly formed Legacy Track Club, where Newville was also a coach, says grief counselling is already in the pipeline. I have been staying very close to the to the athletes. Uh, I'm not a trained counsellor, but I've had to deal with grief um, in many, many instances in my own professional life. So I have been staying and, and, and reaching out and, and talking to them and, and we will get the appropriate counselling, um, you know, at, at some point in time. But right now it's really just allow them the time to grieve. As for the postponement of this year's Issa Boys and Girls Championships from its original dates of March 23 to 27, Clark sees a silver lining for the 28-time Boys Champs winners. We are, I would say, at, at, the, at the plus side of this equation. Because we, 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 we started our, our, our preparation late, quite late, and we were wondering how are we going to close the gaps that have been created as such. With Champs being from the 27th of April to, to the 4th, I think, it benefits us in terms of it gives us an opportunity to pre prepare ourselves more, to prepare the athletes, not only physically, but, 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 but mentally as well. And we should come out benefiting more than we would have if we had started a month or so early. So it's, 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 a, it's a plus, it's a major plus. It's still not clear when this year's Boys and Girls Championships will be held. But ISA President Keith Wellington said on RGR Glena Group's Sports Town Hall last week that it could be rearranged for the final week in April. Jordan Fort, TVJ Sports.